Happy Tuesday, you lovely lot. It is Tuesday, the 9th of January, and you are joining me and Treso on a couples only, <laughs> couples only, sounds a bit weird. <laughs> couples, uh, well, it's just no kids. Um, and we are having a really, really chilled time. Tracy's just getting ready and doing her hair. I've been reliably informed that she's not quite vlog ready. <clears throat> um, so we've got seven nights on Port Orleans. Absolutely, absolutely loving it. It's cracking. And t last night was the first night that we weren't dist dist disturbed by any noise, which was lovely. And then we're off to see some friends. And then uh, uh, we're coming back and we've got four nights on All Star Music. So super excited about that because we're hearing really good things. Um, so today the plan is for us to head over to Hollywood Studios. And then I think later on, late afternoon, early evening, we're going to Disney Springs. Um, but there is a weather warning at the moment. So I think we've... What time have we got weather till? We're going to get some winds this afternoon, late morning into the afternoon, and then we'll just see what happens. Nice. Well, we're going to play it by ear. We're watching the weather warnings on the telly, and obviously it's Disney, so they're going to keep us updated. So we're off to Hollywood Studios. Oh, hello. You got your Hollywood, you got your Hollywood Studios t-shirt on? I have, yes. Gets a lot of love. Yes. How many more visits has it got, do you think? I don't know. It's doing all right. It's not, not completely worn out yet, so... All right. Bus time. Past day. It's pretty windy. Bit windy. <laughs> um, if you are looking at buses on the apps or at the bus stops on the screens, just use that as a bit of a guideline because we have had instances where the buses turn up early and left early as well. So yeah, you know, about ten minutes or so. So a big chunk, not just a couple of minutes. Yeah. So um, my advice would be just rock up to the bus stop, sit and wait, and see what happens. Skyline is such a great way to get about. If you come in for the first time, you know, it could be like a real big consideration for where you stay. It's so effective. But saying that, the buses at Port Orleans, don't want to chinx it, have been awesome. Like plenty of them, not too busy, been good. Because it's Hollywood Studios, I love this sign. <laughs> Morning. Right, we are through into early entry now, just got to do the tickets. One moment, did you make a park pass reservation for today? Yeah. Okay, one moment. Slight panic, we thought we had park res still got to do park reservations when you're watching this in the future. That won't be a thing anymore, thank goodness. Uh, so we didn't have park reservations, however, um, they let us in. They took pity, you know, we didn't throw our toys out the back, back uh, pram and it wasn't an issue at all. So I think the loose plan is to head over to Slinky because we've not done that in the longest. No, we've always been um, the, the uh, Genie Plus, even if, if you've got Genie Plus, it's hard to get on it. So we're going to try and just get on it the first thing and get it done. Yep. Heading into Toy Story Land, Slinky's down. <laughs> so factor in things that you know, things change. Roll with the punches. So we're going to head over to Rise of the Resistance. Kind of looks different without the blue skies. It feels like... It's a bit grey. <laughs> There's also an interactive game that you can play. We've never actually done those. Don't have the time, but I suppose if you came here like super regularly or you were like really into it, that'd be worth looking into. Standby's 50 minutes. The rise of the resistance. It is five to nine. We're heading in. Signal? Are you spotting anything? You will disembark this vessel immediately and proceed down the corridor on the right for interrogation. We're gonna move on. 
it always takes your breath away. It's really creepy how some of them, <laughs> some of them move. This is where the cast members on this ride are so good. They're like grumpy school teachers. Got very polite Imperial Guard. We will soon snap out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side and now you will pay. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base. <laughs> Stay seated with seatbelt securely fastened. Probe droid. You're lucky it didn't spot you. Ah! The escape pods are us! Wait, why are you going up? I'm set down. Up is bad. Up is real bad. Sir, the prisoners have escaped. How brave. But ultimately hopeless. Occasionally they have a few technical hitches, but that is just that ride is just so unbelievable. You, if you're coming here, you have to. If you're going to do one ride, I think that's the ride you do. It's just very, very clever and just stunning. Yeah, and it said it was a 50-minute wait. Bearing in mind that's a really long ride as well. We are on and off in 40 minutes, so the ride probably started 20 minutes in. Yeah. 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 Lots of very 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 cool Star Wars merch here as well. There's only a 35 minute the smugglers run so we're gonna go and hop on that. So like the uh, coke products are themed as well. Raise out. Now obviously you can't go around filming other people's children however Ray came down and there was a little girl dressed in the same outfit and Ray came down and has now taken her hand and they've just wandered off <laughs> it was amazing it was absolutely brilliant and there's our first look at the Millennium Falcon this trip it is just this doesn't do it any justice also you've got all these noises running through as well like all the background noises as well yeah it's amazing today i am offering you opportunity of a lifetime I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. So cool. So we're pilots, pressure's on Trace. Don't want to repeat a Tomorrowland Speedway. I'm up and down, Tracy's left and right. <laughs> ready? Born ready. Flight engineer, repair this. <laughs> this would greatly help the resistance. You have heard the first order and made Chewy proud. How was that? It's good, isn't it? <laughs> Tracy, you successfully crashed into absolutely everything in the galaxy. All the detail, well, as, you know, as you might expect, all the, all the detailing is amazing. Yeah, Tracy just made a good point. All of the cast members on all of the attractions this morning in Galaxy's Edge have just first been. Class, yeah. Really yeah, really, really cool. 
So I think we might come back here in a little in a little bit and um, have a mooch around and have some pictures taken. However, that was I said it was 40 minutes on standby, standby <laughs> on standby. Uh, on and off 20 minutes yeah it, as we were walking through it just seemed to just keep moving so that was really great we're yeah. hoping that's going to be the same story for slinky yeah it may not be but we give it a go yeah so we're heading to slinky now heading on to slinky dog it says it's 70 minutes now i'm not having it i'm not having it it's going to be way less I said it was 70 minutes, it was 70 minutes on the dot. <laughs> That was a 70 minute wait, but it is a quite a long roller coaster and it's super fun. It's not overly kiddie, but you know, if you've got little ones, they'll like it as well. It's, yeah, how was that? All good? Yeah, it was really good fun. I mean, the queue was long, but we were lucky we, we uh, made some friends in the queue, so that helped kill the time chatting with them, and it was really nice. Yeah, it was good. And it was really nice. I got on that with no fear or anxiety, actually. Look at you. Yeah, good. Yeah, you're all over, these, uh, <laughs> you're all over it. Now. <laughs> oh, Chip and Dale are out having a cheeky picnic. Ted has been my go-to name for coffees out here. I'm going back to Ted, otherwise I have to think about too much. So I've got my coffee, which is a Pike's Place with heavy cream, which is my go-to. Tracy's gone for... Let's try something different. It's the iced matcha green tea latte. It's very nice. It's not nice. It tastes like grass. Right, we're in the queue for Minnie and Mickey's. Hello. Hello again. <laughs> 30 minute queue. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad, actually. I don't know if you have the queue for it when it's that no, shorter queue on a standby line. No, the park does feel kind of light, actually, because some wind coming in and maybe people haven't come out, but it doesn't feel busy. No, or maybe people come in, done a few rides and decided to go before the weather turns. Maybe. <laughs> Right, it said it was a 30 minute wait, and it's a 30 minute wait to this bit. I hadn't seen before. I didn't yeah. see this bit where Donald Duck loses his feathers, so I hadn't seen that before. Kind of wish I hadn't seen that now. We've never done this, so we're heading in. Oh, what if Elastigirl's in here? <laughs> So this whole sort of area down here seems to be like uh, an Incredibles meet and greet. So that was a little um, Edna Mode sort of costume yeah, expo. That's, that's for the queue for people that want to sort of have their meet and greet with Edna, but she yeah. disappeared off to powder her nose. So we decided to just walk through <laughs> and carry on. <laughs> 45 minutes for Toy Story Mania. We're heading in. This has definitely got to be one of the coolest queuing areas. Oh, 
nice glasses. Right, camera's going away now. Serious business. Uh, moment of truth. My arm's killing me. How's your arm? <laughs> right. Yes! Not gonna lie, best in vehicle. That's me. How does it feel to be married to best in vehicle? <laughs> I always go on there thinking, right, don't take this too seriously, Keith. And then I turn into that guy. You look really in good. your face! Good job though. Okay, well done. And then you exit into this really lovely gift shop. Oh, they're cool. I've got to mention Toy Story Mania said it was going to be 45 minutes and it was 30 minutes. Yeah, from getting from queuing to getting in the ride vehicle was 30 minutes. Yeah. I think we're going to wander around Batu for a while, just soak up the vibes. So this is the droid depot, which I think, we've never done it, but I think it's kind of like Build-A-Bear, but for droids. So you uh, choose your bits and pieces and custom make a droid. It's really, really cool. Like, look, what's not to like? So you pick your bits and put them all together. It is very cool in here. And lots of very happy kids leaving with their droids. I think you can also get like backpacks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's very cool. He wasn't happy though. Yeah, so you can get like backpacks for your droids. Stormtroopers are out. I don't know what it is, but I never want them to like. We got we got hassled by the stormtroopers once, didn't we? Yeah, I didn't. I freaked out. I freaked out. <laughs> yeah, I, I did not like it. <laughs> See, it's horrible. <laughs> I would do what she would do. <laughs> I'd just freak out, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. All the costumes are really cool. Like, obviously really nice quality as well. This is where you get your Ronto wraps, just behind. They're really, really good. The veggie one's good as well. So this is the marketplace. Just lots of little shops with lots of sort of kind of unique -y Star Wars gifts. Like, I've never seen that t-shirt, that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, like cool artwork. Mini ones as well, like the DJ Rex from the Cantina. Yeah, nice mugs. Yeah, all sort of unique gifts as well. And there's like lots of little, like little individual sort of boutique bits. Mandalorian. 
It's the Mandalorian. That was very cool, Mandalorian and Grogu. Grogu moves, obviously, and he was spending, it wasn't like a, a, like a normal photo op, it was just like, he was walking around and about, but yeah, spending because, time with people. Yeah, meeting people, having a photo taken with him, but there wasn't a photo cast of Tom Fur, but there was a, a, a cast member helping. Minders. Minders, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was really, really cool. It was a lovely time at Hollywood Studios. It's really nice actually. The weather's been nice and warm, just like perfect to walk around. We've got loads done. Yeah. Yeah, really, really happy with that. Yep. Right, we're going to head over to Disney Springs. Okay, because we're at Hollywood Studios, we want to go to Disney Springs. I'm not sure if they do run buses from parks to Disney Springs all the time. We have done it in the past. However, we're going to take the bus from Hollywood Studios to Saratoga Springs and do the little walk from there. And just like that, we're at Saratoga Springs. <laughs> yeah, we got off at the Congress Park stop, which was our stop when we stayed here in October, which is the bit that you can walk to um, Disney Springs more easily from. Right, so to give you a bit of, of a waypoint, we've just come down there and a right, and that's where the bus stop is sort of there. Just walk down, and then you're on the path to Disney Springs. <laughs> Look, all the boat. Oh, they're not going to be sailing boats no, tonight, are they? It's too, too windy. I said we should have got the boat back tonight. But... Michael's probably got the night off. <laughs> and the Christmas decorations continue. What's the date? The ninth. The ninth. What's the bubble waffle? What is, the bubble? what is it? I don't know. I don't know what it is. We're never going to find out. So yeah, still full Christmas everywhere. However, this does hold me in good stead, Trace. Do you know why? Next time you're whinging at me to get the Christmas tree decorations down, I'll be like, look, just leave it a little bit longer, just like at Disney. So the plan is to head to Gideon's to get a biscuit because we're going to queue up like, there's always a massive queue for it. We've never done it. Some of you lovely lot have been saying they are worth the wait. So we're gonna go and get, we're gonna, we're gonna wait it out no matter what. We are, but sometimes we do a virtual queue, so we might not actually have to wait in the queue, so we'll see. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get a biscuit. We're only gonna get one biscuit and we're gonna get a drink. Both are gonna be peanut butter based, I think. Right, that's the line there. Queuing out the door for a biscuit. And I'm, I'm, about, to, I'm about to add to the problem. We're in the queue and the lovely man said, there's no virtual queue today, but it's a 10 minute wait. So, result, and we keep getting a smell from out the door. It does smell great. Thank you. Oh, smells good. <laughs> so is this a place where you, you get to pick your wand? It feels a bit like it, doesn't it? It's a bit creepy. All right. Not gonna lie. The smell in here is amazing. My mouth is watering. Look how big these cakes are. Right, first impressions of Gideon, super organized. All the staff there are super cool. Crazily creepy in there. The smell is amazing. And we've just bought, um, we've got a cold peanut butter uh, cold brew and we've got a peanut butter crunch and it came in at $12.50 or thereabouts. So I'll show you it first. And then- Yeah, there we go. Hang on. Right. <laughs> Good. Really? Okay. Right, going in. It's excellent. No, it's really good. Right, going in on the cold brew. Not normally a big cold brew purchaser. We have heard good things about this. Yeah, it's lovely. Right. Really, really nice. Really strong coffee. I'm not sure you'll like that as much. Yeah, I'm not a fan of strong coffee, but... The rest of the make up for it. It's good, isn't it? Lovely. Yeah, thumbs up from me. I'm going to give that, for both of them, 9 out of 10 for me. Yeah, that's lovely. And I'm, I'm not a great lover of strong coffee. It's not that strong. The rest of it balanced, it's really nice. Yeah, 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 
can't, I can't see how it's gone up from a nine to a ten. I can't see how it could be any better. Right, if they was like, well, why, why'd you only give us a nine? But not the, why would they ever ask me? But I don't know. It's, it's mega. I can't wait to try another one. Not now, but the cake in there looks amazing as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll definitely be going back to Gideon's. <laughs> yeah, and getting more. Getting more. Just trying something different. Yeah really good just having a nice mooch around disney springs but there is definitely some weather on its way it is about to start raining properly it was drizzling so we ventured into world of disney so if we have got a camp out for a couple of hours this is your ideal spot now that's a statement. that is a statement <laughs> and the other thing i should have mentioned is this shop is absolutely ginormous so you can definitely lose one another in here as well. This is very cool though. Kind of like this ornament. They've also got everything Star Wars in here as well. Spider-Man superhero stuff. Take a look at the Crocs. You know, I am a massive fan of Crocs. However, these bits that are stuck on, I thought they were like the giblet bits that you can just stick on. Gibbets, I think they are. Gibbies. But they're not, it's moulded into the shoe. That is a full commitment. Proper rainy outside at the moment. So we're gonna hang in here for another half an hour or so. Making a run for it, back to the resort. It's quarter past, uh, yeah, quarter past six, 10 past six. Uh, Christmas lights look mega. Tracy's bought a new coat. You need a new coat anyway. Yeah, and I've got the uh, very macho Minnie Mouse umbrella, but it does look awesome. Uh, the storm is, looks like it's passing, but we're gonna head back, get on the bus, back to the resort. Did somebody say private bus for Keith and Trace? We are literally the only people on here. Uh, very dark, we're at the back of the bus and uh, there's no one else on it. And we literally got straight to the bus stop and it was here, so high fives all round. We're just trying to decide what we're gonna have for dinner. So we've got sandwiches like ham and cheese and BLTs there. And we got some puddings there. And then over on this one is like burgers, tenders, chicken sandwiches that sort of stuff pork pork sandwiches or a sandwich with french onion dip impossible burgers then you got like a fridge with i think salads and bits i think we need a salad we're not keeping up on our five a day at the moment yeah so in here you got salads and fruit and stuff and then on this one oh shrimp and grits mac and cheese more pastry bits all smells great and then pizzas you know pepperoni cheese not a massive selection but smells lovely and then on the end what have we got here oh like create your own entree so chicken salmon barbecued beef you have that with potatoes beans rice carrots edamame succotash wow <laughs> i heard of that before and then you got Jambalaya, gumbo, impossible meatloaf. Oh, nice. Jambalaya. Oh. That impossible meatloaf. I would do anything for that. <laughs> no, it's a meatloaf, so. But I wouldn't do that. But I wouldn't do that. Right, I'll take you to all the best places. But this is exactly what I wanted. Yeah. So you got chicken tenders, we've got a Greek salad. Tracy has discovered this really lovely little. <laughs> this little wine and all of that was $33 uh, so yeah and it's really nice I love eating in here um, the service is lovely the people are nice it feels very atmospheric yeah it feels vintage Disney for me but in a really good way yeah. I love it yeah, it's, been, it's got coziness to it yeah we have had a lovely dinner that was the perfect amount you know when you finish your dinner you feel like a bit of a champion for like not having put or for not eating more than you should have done or didn't eat well that's exactly how i feel that and blooming cold because it is a bit chilly um we've had a really lovely day like super lovely day 
Um, we're gonna head back to the room um, and like the rock stars that we are, <laughs> it's eight o'clock but we are absolutely done in. So another early night I think. So um, yeah, we're gonna head back now and get to the room. All back in the room, just gone eight o'clock. We get ready, <laughs> ready for bed. I don't know what our friends are gonna think of us in Tampa. <laughs> we're gonna have to like, well no, like we've still got really bad jet lag. Um, we gotta go to bed at half eight, like, you know. Anyway, we've had a mega day. We are walking around a lot more, so I'm putting it down to that. Um, we did have issues getting into the park this morning because with the whole sort of COVID fallout thing, Disney wanted you to like, you had to reserve the park the day that you wanted to go there so they could control numbers and all that sort of stuff. And today was the day that that all finished, or so we thought. If you've got annual passes, it's still a thing. You still have to book in. And we are lucky enough to have annual passes. Um, so, yeah, we still have to book in to... We still have to make a park reservation. So if you're just coming out here ordinarily and you're just getting, like, a... Buying your park passes through an agent, um, you shouldn't have to do that. But, that, that, you know, double check. But that's all sort of finished now. But if you do have annual passes, then you do have to do that. Um, so yeah, we've had a nice day. It is, it's a bit chilly and it's a bit wet. Um, but yeah, we are having a really, really lovely time and bumped into a lot of you lovely lot as well today, which is like massive highlight as well. Um, tomorrow we're gonna do something slightly different. So um, we're going back to Magic Kingdom tomorrow and we're gonna get up early and we're gonna book the, what's it called? Lightning lane. No. Uh, virtual, virtual queue. <laughs> virtual queue for Tron. And we are also going to have a bit of fun. We're going to get Genie Plus tomorrow. We've never really, we've ordered it before. I'm never quite sure if we're doing it right or not. Um, I really like the old fast pass system, but hey ho, that's gone now. So get over it, Keith. This is where we're at. So tomorrow, I thought it'd be a bit of fun if we get Genie Plus and let Genie Plus decide what we do. So whatever's next, we will do it. Even if that's meet and greets. I've never said this publicly on Cheers is. I'm, I'm not a massive fan of meet and greets. I think I don't feel overly comfortable doing them. I love it if, if I had like, when Luke and Daisy were little, loved it. it, was all over it then, but you know. But if, if Genie Plus says, Keith, you gotta go and hold hands with Buzz Lightyear tomorrow, I'm going to do it. So um, we're gonna do that and then we're gonna whiz over to Wilderness Lodge for lunch to go to the... Geezer Point. Geezer Point, because oh, I'm a proper geezer. Um, no, I think it's to do with like those springs things, like, you know, squirting out of the ground. So we're gonna pop over there for lunch, hang out a bit, then back over to Magic Kingdom, more Genie Plus decides what we do next, and then we're gonna hang out for the fireworks. Fireworks finish at eight o'clock and then <laughs> the plan is back here to the glorious Port Orleans and then into what's it called Rookies Rocks River Roost, River Roost um, for Yeehaw Bob. Well, that's the plan that's what we're gonna go for whether or not we have the stamina for it who knows but that's what we're gonna do anyway thank you so much for following along with us today um, yeah it's been really cool and we met like other people that we made some friends in the queue today obviously they don't know that we do this and um yeah we just got chatting to a, some lovely girls uh, that were here for a 50th week uh, 50th birthday weekend and they're a right old laugh so we were having a chat with them in the queue for slinky dogs so yeah every, good vibes good disney vibes today so yeah it was absolutely fantastic so stay safe be kind look after one another cheers is <laughs>